it was funny because in high school I always thought I was a great writer, but I've definitely improved vastly here at PLU. For me, I was one of those stubborn students that thought I could do everything myself just because that's kind of the way I'd operated in high school. And the only time I really sought help was when I had turned in a paper and my professor said, you know, come see me. And so I did that. Uh, since coming to college, I've actually learned a lot about how to the, find scholarly articles because usually when I did research papers back in high school, it was just type it into Google and you'll find something. But with the library resources and then um, Google Scholar, it's been really beneficial and actually made my papers a lot stronger. So learning how to use those type of types of resources has been helpful. To the Writing Center, which is in the library where students look over your paper, and they're not just editing and adding commas, but they're also helping you formulate ideas, like your thesis statement, and things like that. I just, for some reason, didn't have a grasp over. So, especially where research papers are concerned, I have infinitely grown. In college, especially at PLU, there's a lot of resources for you to take advantage of. And the big thing you need to realize is that they're not gonna come to you, you have to go to them. So it takes a lot of initiative on your part. My first professor that I had that I really was like, she just blew my mind, she was so great, was um, Dr. Eisen. And I took her Islam class the spring semester of my freshman year. And it was just, it was a great class. Um, I think it's one of the best classes I've taken so far at PLU. And she just was so good at pushing students boundaries and encouraging them to look at things a different way. And she really took the time, even outside of class, to meet with students. Um, and I just felt so comfortable going to her office hours and talking to her about what we were working on in class. When it's a professor in your major, you really need them to help you make connections after you graduate by making connections with them while you're here. I've learned a lot about <coughs> technology, um, in particular with my extracurriculars. Again, ASPLU, we do a lot of work with making sure that we're managing budgets appropriately with planning events, and when it comes to doing those kinds of things, you really need to learn what is the best way of doing this. Since I've been at PLU, I've become a lot more tech savvy. I'm one of those people who grew up with a computer in their house. I had an email in like the fourth grade, but I never really used it. Here at PLU, I'm emailing all the time to get a hold of professors. We use a GCAL to, anytime I have to like, schedule a rehearsal with my friend, I make a calendar event and invite him to it and it goes right to his phone, so it's really easy to remember. But also for classes, I had to make a movie for the Hebrew Idol competition. So you have to take a Bible story and make a video about it, and that was a challenge way beyond any skill I had before. But through the help of the multimedia services, and they check, it out, check me out a camera, learned how to use iMovie, ended up making a pretty okay video. <laughs> Something I'm definitely working on. My key motivation to do good work is I just want to succeed. I want to be able to say that I learned something through what I was doing, that I got a good grade. Even though people's grades fluctuate more in college often, I think they're still just as important. I think the big part of how I motivate myself is I'm making sure that I'm having fun. College for me is the most stressful time of my life by far, but it's also been the most fun and by far the most rewarding. And for me, the big thing that I've gotten from it is that to motivate yourself, you really need to make sure that what you're doing is something you're passionate about. I think just be aware that you have to put a lot of time into it and don't procrastinate for your own <laughs> well-being because pulling too many all-nighters is just really not healthy for you. Um, so I think just being on top of your schoolwork is my best advice because um, you can really easily get behind because there are so many things going on, on campus and you have more free time to hang out with people. Um, but realizing that the reason you are at school and the reason you are paying so much money to go to school is to get an education and that always comes first and so um, making school a priority and putting a lot of time into it. To help first year succeed academically I want to say make study groups all the time. Anytime I had a huge test coming up my friends would say come over to my room and we'll all get together and study and just talking it out and really verbalizing and internalizing the information made all my classes infinitely easier.